Wait, wait, do people seriously think this isn't gold free? Is, is it gold free or normal free? This course is becoming the new. What color is the red? It still just looks like regular Freddy to me. He never had a blue eye. It was more of a black boy with white dots. Sometimes also his ear missing is FNAF 2 only. It just looks like a regular R Freddy under a slightly yellow lighting. It looks like the band from the original. Like the Bro, it should be dead all obvious that this is gold free. Dog shaped bears and all that. And the original. Bro, was like Freddy gets withered over the span of the movie. Like that makes any sense. <laughs> nah, that's regular Freddy. First place, I could see how someone could mistake him for Freddy due to the lighting and all that. But when you stop and look at it, it's pretty obvious who it is. I bet it's the latest argument over is that Gold Freddy was that regular Freddy. Golden Freddy. He's basically Freddy Fazbear, but yellow. Oh, I mean, that's the entire point of him originally, was um, to be a yellow golden ghost version of um, the main antagonist, main character, Freddy Fazbear, originally in um, 2014. And now, nine years later, Golden Freddy being so similar to Freddy Fazbear, um, that's been a bit of a problem, because people in the FNAF community are arguing um, if in the trailers for the FNAF movie, is this guy Golden Freddy or is this guy Freddy Fazbear? I don't know which one it is. Is that regular or is that Golden Freddy? So today in episode 1, I'm going to be talking about if in the FNAF movie, this guy right here is Freddy Fazbear normal or Freddy Fazbear golden. So yeah, let's get into it. So before we got any teasers, trailers, promos for the Final Freeze movie at all, people were wondering um, if Gorn Freddy was going to even appear in the movie at all because um, in the games, he's kind of got a smallest role. I mean, he's just an easter egg. I mean, he's like an overarching character, main character kind of. I mean, it's kind of confusing to say, but... He basically didn't appear too much. He wasn't a centre focus. So there's a chance that Golden Freddy wasn't going to actually appear in the movie at all. Some people thought he wasn't going to. Some people thought he was. And then eventually we would get this poster right here on screen for the movie to be dropped. This poster dropped. And people weren't sure if that was actually Golden Freddy or regular Freddy. Because um, the main reason that was given away was the missing ear. Because with a Golden Freddy, doesn't have an ear. I mean, people were getting confused because, I mean... This is the same ear that's missing on a Freddy Fazbear version. That version being Golden Freddy, so... People weren't sure if that was actually him or not. And also the lining kind of made it look like he had more of a yellow fur, more of a dark yellow fur, so... People weren't 100% sure if that was actually regular Freddy or Golden Freddy because of the lighting. People said, oh, the lighting makes it look like Golden Freddy. Oh, the lighting makes it look like regular Freddy. And there were a lot of people comparing the colours between all of the Golden Freddy renders, between normal Freddy, between... Got normal Golden Freddy between Withered Golden Freddy. I'm pretty sure I even saw someone like recreate the lighting of it and they used like the white color on like Abby's t shirt as like a base and, and they basically came to the conclusion that it probably is Golden Freddy. But people still weren't 100% sure if it was him or not. Eventually, the first trailer would come out, then the second one, and in that second trailer, we got a more clear shot of this version of Freddy himself in the taxi cab or whatever. And then this is where the debate starts to heat up again because. People were almost certain that this is actually Gorn Freddy, comparing the colours to normal Freddy and the early shots of the trailer, comparing him to the other renders of course of Gorn Freddy with the Gorn Freddy, classic Freddy. We also got to see that not only did um, that version of Freddy have not only just the missing ear, but he also had the um, the right eye actually glowing, which is something that in a few of um, with the Gorn Freddy's renders, for some reason, he has that eye lit up. So people are saying that they took these two elements of with the Golden Freddy and slapped them onto a classic Freddy. So now there are a lot of people going out there, going ham on each other, crashing down on each other, having big debates on each other over the colour of an animatronic bear. There's so many people saying that, no, 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 this is clearly regular Freddy. It'd be much more lighter, much more gold, much more yellow if it was actually Golden Freddy. Look at his jump scare, look at the render of him in the office. It'd be much more yellow, it'd be much more gold, it'd be much more lighter, you idiot. And there's, but on the other side, there's people saying, no, 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 look at Wither Golden Freddy, he's much darker. Look at, look at this render of Golden Freddy, he's much more darker. It could be Golden Freddy, it is Golden Freddy, look at him. Compare it with the other shots of him in the movie, that is definitely Golden Freddy. Now we're going to be looking at some posts from the community um, discussing if this is actually Gorn Free or regular Free on what better place than Twitter. Of course it's got to be Twitter. Let's go. Some people say that Gorn Freddy in the car scene is normal Freddy and I just have one question. Why would they spoil Freddy getting withered? If that isn't Gorn Freddy then that implies that Freddy gets withered throughout the movie, right? Wait, do people seriously think this isn't Gorn Freddy? You know, at such moments it seems to me that actually FNAF lore is quite simple. 
And it's just the fans that make it difficult. Also, the fact they use PC on the Golden Freddy from FNAF 1 instead of the Golden Freddy from FNAF 2 for the comparison. I did my own comparison with FNAF 2 Golden Freddy and the Golden Freddy at the end of the trailer, and they were pretty close in color. I think Golden Freddy looks better when he's not a bright saturated yellow, but that's just me. Just to make it clear that these are two different characters, they have different head shapes. Golden has bigger eyebrows than Freddy. Freddy's colors are darker, while Golden is more yellow even with how dirty his suit is. Golden looks more accurate to the game than Freddy. Honestly, the first time I watched the trailer and saw the taxi scene, I thought that was normal Freddy for a second. Of course I realized my mistake when I replayed the trailer. It still just looks like regular Freddy to me. Bro, it should be dead obvious that this is Golden Freddy. I respect others' opinions and theories, but I find it ridiculous that a lot of you think this is regular Freddy. This is more than obvious is a mixture of Wither Golden Freddy and FNAF 1 Golden. Come on, man. I think everyone knows this Golden Freddy. All I've seen has been people saying it doesn't look golden enough, and I agree. It's probably the lighting, but his colours are a lot closer to FNAF 1 Normal Freddy than any Golden Freddy. Well, he probably is the same yellow colour. I think people have to take into account that this isn't in a light area, and this is a screen cap from the movie possibly. Meaning the atmosphere is darker, so that means the colour is darker, and the dirt comes to effect too, because canon-wise, he could have, and probably is, a more vibrant yellow for marketing purposes. So the dirt from being unused for so long could come into effect, and make it so that he isn't as vibrant and stuff. First place, I could see how someone could mistake him for Freddy due to the lighting and all that, but when you stop and look at it, it's pretty obvious who it is. Not only the fans, the fact that he STILL looks just like a recolored Freddy, even after we know that he's an old Fredbear suit slash animatronic, doesn't help. Ever since we've known he's just Fredbear, he should look as such, but Scott sometimes has no idea what he's doing. I bet it's the latest argument over it is that Golden Freddy was that regular Freddy. Nah, that's regular Freddy. FNAF 3 are making the worst yellow bear. He just looks like a regular R Freddy under a slightly yellow lighting. Bro was like, Freddy gets withered over the span of the movie, like that makes any sense. <laughs> the MF Brown. Hey, why is nobody talking about this? We brought up this shot from the FNAF movie trailer. It looks like that's actually Golden Freddy and him looking more brown like normal Freddy is to trick off the lighting. They thought it was regular Freddy. He never had a blue eye, it was more of a black void with white dots. Sometimes also his ear missing is FNAF 2 only. This version of Golden Freddy sucks. This isn't Golden Freddy or normal Freddy discourse is becoming the new what color is the dress. So yeah, I was going through a lot of tweets and I couldn't find many people saying that it actually is 100% normal Freddy. I didn't see any reasons for it actually, there wasn't many. I mean, to the people who think it's regular Freddy, I mean, we're just gonna have to wait until the movie comes out to prove that it's Golden Freddy, or vice versa, I don't care which one it is, it's, it's Freddy Fazz, it's a Freddy, it's a version of Freddy, no, that's actually clearly Sans, actually, no, that's, that's, um, crumpled Freddy suit from FNAF 3, Shadow Freddy. So what could have been done to completely avoid this debate, what could have happened? I mean, the only thing that could really have been done if, is, um, on the... On Blumhouse's side, they could have made Golden Freddy look more like his FNAF 1 appearance, make him, make him a bit more greenish yellow, make him more gold, give him the white pupils and the eyes. If, maybe they could have just made him completely with a Golden Freddy or something like that. that. That would actually be really good to distinguish between the two, between, distinguish between FNAF 1 Freddy and distinguish between FNAF 2 with a Golden Freddy. Maybe they intentionally made him look more like regular Freddy to confuse people, because we all know Scott likes trolling, so maybe he had a say in this. Probably not, but I mean, maybe they also could have done it for the poster. They didn't want um, people to initially see that, oh, that is definitely 100% Golden Freddy, or why is he, um, you know, why is that withered Golden Freddy there? Why is it not Freddy Fazbear or FNAF 1 Golden Freddy? Maybe they did to intentionally confuse people or make people talk about it or not instantly give away that that is Golden Freddy and not Freddy Fazbear. Alright, so that's it for this one. I'm not sure how many videos there are going to be in this, um, shortish series. There's probably going to be, like, fire or something. There's quite a bit of debates related to this yellow bear. So, yeah, um, that's it for this one. Um, bye. The MF Brown. Don't take that out of context, please, please, please. <laughs> please, I'm taking you. I can't, I can't recall the rest now. Dang, I made myself laugh. Oh!